One of the few things both parties seem to be able to agree on these days is that you should really read the transcript. It's either a blueprint for the perfect call between two leaders, total exoneration, or a less than perfect call that's actually a key piece of evidence proving Trump was directly involved in a pressure campaign with the Ukraine. At this point, it feels like it kinda depends on which t-shirt you side with. Fortunately for you, instead of going the route most pundits go, trying to get Americans to read this report like a high school lit teacher trying to get her students to read the scarlet letter, now don't go to MSNBC or Fox News and read the summary, I want you to read the five pages unabridged. I did the very possible and got two voice actors to read the transcript. Now two notes before I roll the clip. First, it wasn't some sort of political statement to have females play both parts. I only know two professional voice actors and they're both female. They did a great job. Second, I instructed Trump's voice actor to not do a caricature of his voice and mannerisms, as A, that would get really annoying really quickly, B, this audio project is not intended to be comedic but rather informative, and C, I wanted to try to do my best to keep people's personal feelings about Trump distant and really view this call on its merits. Without further ado, I present to you the Trump Zelensky call. Congratulations on a great victory. We all watched from the United States and you did a terrific job. The way you came from behind, somebody who wasn't given much of a chance, and you ended up winning easily. It's a fantastic achievement. Congratulations. You're absolutely right, Mr. President. We did win big and we worked hard for this. We worked a lot, but I would like to confess to you that I had an opportunity to learn from you. We used quite a few of your skills and knowledge, and we were able to use it as an example for our elections. And yes, it is true that these were unique elections. We were in a unique situation that we were able to achieve a unique success. I'm able to tell you the following. The first time you called me to congratulate me when I won my presidential election. And the second time, you are now calling me when my party won the parliamentary election. I think we should. I think I should run more often so you can call me more often and we can talk over the phone more often. Haha, <laughs> that's a very good idea. I think your country is very happy about that. Well, yes. To tell you the truth, we are trying to work hard because we wanted to drain the swamp here in our country. We brought in many, many new people. Not the old politicians, not the typical politicians, because we want to have a new format and a new type of government. You are a great teacher for us, and in that. Well, it's very nice of you to say that. I will say that we do a lot for Ukraine. We spend a lot of effort and a lot of time. Much more than the European countries are doing, and they should be helping you more than they are. Germany does almost nothing for you. All they do is talk, and I think it's something that you should really ask them about. When I was speaking to Angela Merkel, she talks Ukraine, but she doesn't do anything. A lot of the European countries are the same way, so I think it's something you want to look at. But the United States has been very, very good to Ukraine. I wouldn't say that it's reciprocal necessarily, because things are happening that are not good. But the United States has been very, very good to Ukraine. Yes, you are absolutely right. Not only 100%, but actually 1000%. And I can tell you the following. I did talk to Angela Merkel, and I did meet with her. I also met and talked with Macron, and I told them that they are not doing quite as much as they need to be doing on the issues with the sanctions, and they are not enforcing the sanctions. They are not working as much as they should work for Ukraine. It turns out that even though logically the European Union should be our biggest partner, but technically, the United States is a much bigger partner than the European Union, and I'm very grateful for you for that, because the United States is doing quite a lot for Ukraine, much more than the European Union, especially when we are talking about sanctions against the Russian Federation. I would also like to thank you for your great support in the area of defense. We are ready to continue to cooperate for the next steps. Specifically, we are almost ready to buy more javelins from the United States for defense purposes. I would like you to do us a favor, though because our country has been through a lot, and Ukraine knows a lot about it. I would like you to find out what happened with this whole situation with Ukraine. They say crowd strike. They say crowd strike. I guess you have one of your wealthy people. The server, they say. Ukraine has it. 
There are a lot of things that went on, the whole situation. I think you're surrounding yourself with some of the same people. I would like to have the Attorney General call you or your people, and I would like you to get to the bottom of it. As you saw yesterday, that whole nonsense ended with a very poor performance by a man named Robert Mueller. An incompetent performance. But they say a lot of it started with Ukraine. Whatever you can do, it's very important that you do it if that's possible. Yes, it is very important for me and everything that you just mentioned earlier. For me, as a president, it is very important and we are open for any future cooperation. We are ready to open a new page on cooperation and relations between the United States and Ukraine. For that purpose, I just recalled our ambassador from United States, and he will be replaced by a very competent and very experienced ambassador who will work hard on making sure that our two nations are getting closer. I would also like and hope to see him having your trust and your confidence and have personal relations with you so we can cooperate even more so. I will personally tell you that one of my assistants spoke with Mr. Giuliani just recently. And we are hoping very much that Mr. Giuliani will be able to travel for me to Ukraine. And we are hoping very much that Mr. Giuliani will be able to travel to Ukraine and we will meet once he comes to Ukraine. I just want to assure you once again that you have nobody but friends around us. I will make sure that I surround myself with the best and most experienced people. I also wanted to tell you that we are friends. We are great friends, and you, Mr. President, have friends in our country, so we can continue our strategic partnership. I also plan to surround myself with great people, and in addition to that investigation, I guarantee, as the President of Ukraine, that all the investigations will be done openly and candidly. That I assure you. Good, because I heard you had a prosecutor who was very good, and he was shut down, and that's really unfair. A lot of people are talking about that, the way they shut your very good prosecutor down and you had some very bad people involved. Mr. Giuliani is a highly respected man. He was the mayor of New York City, a great mayor, and I would like him to call you. I will ask him to call you along with the Attorney General. Rudy very much knows what's happening and he is a very capable guy. If you could speak to him, that would be great. The former ambassador from the United States, the woman, was bad news and the people she was dealing with in the Ukraine were bad news. So I just want to let you know that. The other thing. There's a lot of talk about Biden's son. That Biden stopped the prosecution, and a lot of people want to find out about that. So whatever you can do with the Attorney General would be great. Biden went around bragging that he stopped the prosecution. So if you can look into it, it sounds horrible to me. I wanted to tell you about the prosecutor. First of all, I understand and I'm knowledgeable about the situation. Since we have won the absolute majority in our parliament, the next prosecutor general will be 100% my person, my candidate, who will be approved by the parliament and will start as a new prosecutor in September. He or she will look into the situation, specifically to the company that you mentioned in this issue. The issue of the investigation of the case is actually the issue of making sure to restore the honesty, so we will take care of that and will work on the investigation of the case. On top of that, I would kindly ask you if you have any additional information that you can provide to us, it would be very helpful for the investigation and make sure that the administered justice in our country would regard to the ambassador to the United States from Ukraine, as far as I recall her name was Ivanovich. It was great that you were the first one who told me that she was a bad ambassador because I agree with you 100%. Her attitude towards me was far from the best and she admired the previous president and she was on his side. She would not accept me as a new president well enough. Well, she's going to go through some things. I will have Mr. Giuliani give you a call and I am also going to have Attorney General Barr call and we will get to the bottom of it. I'm sure you will figure it out. I heard the prosecutor was treated very badly, and he was a very fair prosecutor, so good luck with everything. Your economy is going to get better and better, I predict. You have a lot of assets. It's a great country. I have many Ukrainian friends. They are incredible people. I would like to tell you that I also have quite a few Ukrainian friends that live in the United States. Actually, the last time I traveled to the United States, I stayed in New York, near Central Park. And I stayed at the Trump Tower. I will talk to them and I hope to see them again in the future. I also wanted to thank you for your invitation to visit the United States, specifically Washington, D.C. 
On the other hand, I also want to ensure you that we will be very serious about the case and we will work on the investigation. As to the economy, there is much potential for our two countries. And one of the issues that is very important for Ukraine is energy independence. I believe we can be very successful in cooperating on energy independence with the United States. We are already working on cooperation. We are buying American oil, but I am very hopeful for a future meeting. We will have more time and more opportunities to discuss these opportunities and get to know each other better. I would like to thank you very much for your support. Good. Well, thank you very much, and I appreciate that. I will tell Rudy and Attorney General Barr to call. Thank you. Whenever you would like to come to the White House, feel free to call. Give us a date and we'll work that out. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you very much. I would be very happy to come and would be very happy to meet with you personally and get to know you better. I am looking forward to our meeting and I also would like to invite you to visit Ukraine and come to the city of Kiev, which is a beautiful city. We have a beautiful country which would welcome you. On the other hand, I believe that on September 1st, we will be in Poland and we can meet in Poland, hopefully. After that, it might be a very good idea for you to travel to Ukraine. We can either take my plane and go to Ukraine or we can take your plane, which is probably better than mine. Okay, we can work that out. I look forward to seeing you in Washington and maybe in Poland because I think we are going to be there at that time. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Congratulations on a fantastic job you've done. The whole world was watching. I'm not sure it was so much of an upset, but congratulations. Thank you, Mr. President. Bye-bye. And with that, you just hashtag read the transcript. What did you think? Let me know in the comments. I'm always trying to think of new ways I can use my platform to deepen people's understanding of this impeachment inquiry without reporting over and over again the stuff that we're already hearing ad nauseum. If you can think of an area of the impeachment inquiry that hasn't been done to death over the past month, I'm all ears. Special thanks to voice actors and friends of the show Irene Yenko as Trump and Joella Boltonato as Zelensky for lending their voices. If you're looking for a voice actor, their social media tags are in the description, right next to my Patreon link. <clears throat> Thank you and that's all I have to say about that. Hello YouTube, I'd like to thank my patrons for helping me put out my videos. If you want to support independent nonpartisan news trying to get a deeper understanding of the conversations of the day, join this growing group of great individuals by clicking the link in the description. Remember to subscribe and if I get a thousand subscribers I can actually put the Patreon link as icon as a part of this video. Wouldn't that just look beautiful? Ring that bell so that freedom will continue to ring and give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Lastly, as always, thank you for watching.